How about what Gastoni has done in goal here today? The 18-year-old started this thing back in 2009. He's 13 years old, helping Mexico get on the map for the lacrosse, and now he's been making some great saves today. Well, from here, what, what you're seeing is the first couple minutes of the third quarter. Well, lacrosse is my life, that's for sure. Um, since since I was a kid, like I was never really good at any sports. I tried everything from like fencing to badminton, for that matter. I played baseball for many years. Didn't really enjoy it. Played lacrosse after that. Ended up falling in love. I played defense. I was this short little like four foot fat defender and with a six foot lacrosse stick in my hand. I was the hands down the worst player on my team, hands down. The night before our first game, our coach asked the entire team if anybody wanted to play goalie. Like two nights before, my dad kind of had a conversation with me on the way to like go pick up some lacrosse equipment that was like, you, the one position you never want to play is goalie. Because you're either the dead bug on the windshield or you're the windshield at the end of every game. So that's kind of always stuck with me. And of course, night before the first game, coach is like, who wants to try out? And I was like, yeah, screw it. I'm the worst player on the team. How much worse could I be playing goalie? Hopped in, ended up doing pretty well. Got hit in the shin and didn't cry. So that was, that was a good first time. I cried many times that year, but that was, didn't cry the first time I hopped in goal. First game comes around was against the second team in the state. Like they, it was the second best team in the state the year before. First half, I play goalie and I get destroyed. It was horrendous. I think I had like 13 goals scored on me. And that was kind of how I started my horrible lacrosse career as goalie. <laughs> End of my eighth grade year was when Mexico lacrosse really kind of got into my life. My dad had sent him an email saying, hey, my son's 13. I mean, he's a goalie. If you guys need a goalie, I know goalies aren't in short supply. And he's just like, he's half Mexican. And sure enough, Iliad and Ozzy, the two kind of like founders of Mexico lacrosse, had emailed him back and were like, uh, yeah, sure, send him to Mexico City. And ended up going to Mexico City, played three exhibition games, and that's how Mexico lacrosse got started in general and kind of how it got started with me. After our three exhibition games, after we went down and actually kind of got it going in Mexico lacrosse, there was a big explosion to five teams that actually competed and played against each other with like a championship and everything in the youth. So 2014 World Games was the first World Games that I had actually played in with Mexico, or for Mexico, excuse me. And right then they were just starting three women's teams in Mexico. So as of right now, I believe there's 12 men's teams and seven or eight women's teams. I know for the men's side, it's men's and collegiate. So there's not any youth programs, which is kind of the issue with the reason why it's not growing as exponentially as it should be, is because, well, the big issue is gear and how expensive it is to get gear down there. And on top of that, the fact that it's so hard to get younger players because it's so expensive, but it's growing. The thing that really made me stay in it and like didn't get discouraged from playing, especially after the first game, which was pretty rough going home with like 10 welds and playing terribly and being the dead bug on the windshield. I don't know, it was just one of those things that was like, I, I loved it. I still had gone practice the next day and was just like, well, I can't just leave it to be. So I stuck with it. I still play. Um, I'm still the starting national goalie. I made the national team like a month ago. I still play for NAU. So it's still a huge part of my life.